Okay, so Anthropic just released a huge update to Claude, and that update is native web search. And it's pretty late. It came after Perplexity, after ChatGPT with web search, Mistral with web search, DeepSeek with web search, Grok with web search. So if you follow this channel or you've been following MCP servers, that gave us the ability to add web search to Claude, but only on Claude desktop. So we're gonna test it out. It's my first look at it. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna test the new native Claude web search against Perplexity and ChatGPT. I'm gonna turn off MCP servers, and then we're gonna test it against itself with MCP servers enabled, specifically Brave Search and Tavili. We're gonna ask it one simple question, something that I know most LLMs are not able to do if even with web search on, and we're gonna see how it goes. So first things first, let's just turn off MCP servers. So you see here, we're in Claude, we have our 95 tools available. Let's go into my JSON config, which is VS Code, and I'm just gonna comment out my whole JSON config. Look at all those red squiggly lines, it's scary. Saving it, let's close Claude, let's reopen Claude. Ooh, that's scary, okay, let's press okay. It looks like we have basic Claude. I don't see any tools right here, so that's good enough. And if we click here on experimental features, we see that I have web search enabled. From what I see, Claude with web search is only available for 3.7 and to paying users in the US. And I'm sure it's gonna roll out to worldwide users and probably free users really soon. So let's just ask a question about itself. Why did Anthropic release today? Okay, so we're searching the web. So look at this web search interface, a bit different. Oh, interesting, that is a fail. So it says, I don't see any announcements about Anthropic product release today. However, there have been some recent significant releases about three weeks ago, they released Claude 3.7 Sonnet. Okay, so it doesn't even know that it got web search. So that's kind of a fail for me. Let's just check perplexity with the same question. Perplexity, it says Anthropic has introduced a major update to AI chatbot Claude by, announcing, by adding real-time web capabilities. This feature is currently available as a feature preview for paid users in the US, that's what I thought company's latest and most advanced model, da, da, da. citations for transparency, enhanced accuracy, and throw up has highlighted several use cases for the new features. Sales team, industry trends, financial analysts, researchers, consumers comparing products across different sources. Anthropic plans to expand this feature to free users in additional countries in the coming weeks. Okay, so that answers our question. Interesting, it says here the company is also ex reportedly exploring voice capabilities for Claude. Okay, so let's just do one more test here. Let's do some product comparison. Which electric? truck is the most durable okay search in the web let's see if we answer this the rivian stands out among electric trucks with innovative storage solutions okay so yeah i do like that we finally see citations we don't have this when using web search with mcb servers that is the one big thing that's missing for me that says okay so it says rivian the ford 150 i have to say i wasn't expecting this I was expecting a bit of a better output. I was expecting a list, you know, I guess Rivian and then Ford and then the Ram uh, numbered list, not about the consideration. So that, in my opinion, is kind of a fail, but it's a preview, so we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Now, the question I wanted to ask it, is something that I know Perplexity and ChatGPT aren't really good at. So we're gonna ask it what movies are showing tomorrow in Las Vegas. Let's see if it could give us movie names and movie times. And this is a question that I would expect AI web search to be able to do. Take real-time data, look at websites, and I know there's more to it, but to me, this is like the basics. And as we see here, it's also not able to do that. It's telling me about different theaters, but it's telling me to visit Fandango. Okay, let's ask the same question of Perplexity. And this will be Perplexity Pro, let us ask. Okay, so this is actually better than I expected. Perplexity got this right on the first shot. And by the way, I'm assuming it's right because it's showing movies that I know are in theaters right now. Mickey 17, Dying to See That, Nova Kane looks good, Captain America, Nora, two thumbs up. Now, I don't know if that's exactly what's showing, but I do assume this is accurate. Okay, let's ask ChatGPT with web search. Okay, so uh, here are some movies scheduled to play in Las Vegas on Friday, March 21st. And no, it's not showing me movie times. It's showing me a map, it's showing me movie theaters in Las Vegas but it's just not telling me movie time. So that's a fail. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna uncomment out all of my MCP servers and restart Claude and we're gonna ask the same question and we'll see if it's gonna be able to do that. Okay, so we just restarted Claude. We have all of my 95 tools back in there. I really miss those MCP servers. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna ask the same question, use Brave Search. Okay, so this is interesting. Even though I told it to use Brave Search, it chose to use its own built-in search. Let us try this again. Let's turn off web search. Web search disabled, let's try this one more time. We're asking to use MCV server, just Brave Search. Let's see if it could get it. Okay, so with Brave Search, I think it did better than the new Cloud Web Search. Not perfect, it only showed three movies. Let's try again one more time with Tavili and see if Tavili does better. And as you see here, I'm just telling it explicitly what to use. 
and it showed Snow White in the assessment. So again, it's pretty much the same as Brave Search. It shows me all the movie theaters, but it doesn't show me the names of the movies like Perplexity did. So I still think it's better than the native web search. Now let's try it with my Ultra Cloud Search tool. This is the cloud project I built that has custom instructions and pretty much tells it to use sequential thinking and brave search and Tavili to get the best answer. So let's see how this one works. Okay, so sequential thinking, allow, brave search, allow, puppeteer. The data I got from Fandigo is somewhat messy, but I can extract. Okay, I think this one's gonna win. Alrighty, so the ultra cloud search tool, my cloud project that uses multiple MCP servers, including sequential thinking, brave search, Tavili, puppeteer. I'm pretty sure fetch as well. To me, gives me the best answer here. Disney Snow White, Captain America, Paddington, Peru. Look at that. That's pretty much the same answer we got from Perplexity. So I think that's a win. So there you have it. We tested out Claude's new web search tool. It is in preview, as they said. It's an early version. It didn't perform as good as my Ultra Claude search tool that uses multiple MCP servers. It didn't perform as good as Perplexity. It performed more or less the same as ChatGPT. I'm sure this will get better. I'm gonna keep playing with it. I have a feeling that if we pair it with multiple MCP servers, it will get a lot better. So there's some tweaking we can do here and I'm gonna play with it over the weekend, but that's my first look at it. I still think this is huge and I'm excited for what's next to come, especially if they say that it's gonna get a voice mode. Let me know how you've been using the new Claude with web search. If you found the video valuable, please give it a like. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend.